What's up guys, it's your boy back at it again. Today we're going to be talking about my review of the Fastlane pay-per-view. Right off the bat, I'm going to let y'all know we're going to be back with the regular schedule of Supercard tomorrow. Because uh, Saturday, I did make a video, okay? And this is why it wasn't up, guys. I made the video. To come to find out, my recorder screwed up and only recorded a minute and a half of the video. So, I decided just not to put anything up at all. Because I was really mad. And then I just went back to sleep. So, that's what happened with that. Anyways, I know y'all have probably already seen... I mean, heard or seen everything that happened at Fastlane, but uh, I'd like to give y'all my little insight of it. I pretty much do this at every pay-per-view now, so let's get going. On the first match, you had New Day beat Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura, Shinsuke Nakamura on the kickoff show. You know, it was a... It was a good match and everything. Um, and all that. They went back and forth. I mean, I didn't really watch it too much because it was on the kickoff show. I didn't really care for it too much. But it was a pretty good match. Sad to see that the New Day are uh, on the kickoff show. Um, but, you know. It happens. It is what it is. Thank God that Rey Mysterio and Andrade didn't end up on the kickoff show. They actually ended up on the main card. So, yeah. I didn't even know this this Rusev and Nakamura versus New Day match was going to happen. So, I didn't even predict this match or anything. Because it just came up out of nowhere, to be honest. But, uh... The New Day won with the up, up, down, down finisher. So, shout to your boy, Xavier Woods. Anyway, let's move on to the next match because, you know, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, the Usos defeated The Miz and Shane McMahon. This was actually a pretty decent match to me. Um, It was back and forth. You had... You had the freaking, uh, I don't know if it was Jimmy or Jay, but they went for a dive and Shane hit the coast to coast out of midair, bro. That was so freaking clean, I swear to God, dude. That was one of the very good moves I remembered from Fastlane. Like, that was so nice. Um... But it was a really good match. You had Shane flying. You had the Usos flying. The Miz was doing pretty good. And then at the end, the Miz ended up taking the pin for the Usos to win. Uh, so the Miz and Shane got out of the ring. Uh, talked to Miz's dad, which was cool. He was in the front row and everything. It's Miz's hometown, so he really felt bad for losing. And uh, Shane shake the dad's hand, turned over, and turned on the Miz, dude. Well, I did not see that coming. Like, I, hey, dude, when I say I was shocked, I was really shocked. Like, I did not see that coming whatsoever. That was kind of crazy to me. Um, but he turned on the Miz, beat the crap out of the Miz, grabbed Miz's dad by the face, threw him backward. And then continued to beat down on The Miz. Like, that's actually a pretty damn cool, like, storyline shot going into WrestleMania. Now we got heel Shane going into WrestleMania. That's kind of crazy. I wonder how that's going to play out. Like, him versus The Miz. I don't, I don't know how that's going to play out, but it should be fun to watch. I was just really surprised. Like... I knew they were going to break up. I've been saying that they were probably going to break up. And I even predicted the Usos to win. Because I thought that the Shane and Miz were going to break up. But, like, I didn't think it was going to happen right then. And I didn't think it was going to be Shane. 
I thought it would be Miz out of all people. Like, Miz is always usually a heel. So, that was just unbelievable. And Shane beat the living crap out of the Miz, dude. Speaking of the Miz, <laughs> let's go ahead and claim this Road to Glory team event reward. By the way, guys, we're not really going for anything sweet here because... Well, dealing with LMS and then Ring Dom right after it, or right actually Ring Dom started while LMS was going. So we've been dealing with a lot, and I haven't played very much because I got burnt out after playing all them dang events. You know what I mean? So I'm only at 145. So we're not really too crazy on it, but yeah. Anyway, um, let's keep going here. I'm going to play some Samoa Joe. All right. What was the next match? Oh, my God. SmackDown Women's Championship match. Asuka defeats Mandy Rose. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. I don't understand what happened in that match. I don't, I, I don't. I don't know what they were even going for in that match because they had the whole the whole reason why Mandy lost right was because Sonya Deville was getting mad and wanted to help Mandy, so she pulled up the ring and grabbed a kendo stick, and Mandy Rose got Irish whipped to the ropes and she slipped on the ring apron and fell down and then or. Er, I think it, she fell down. Yeah, she got back up and Asuka just kneed her and won the match. Like, I, I don't know what they were going for there. I don't think it was a hint that we're going to see Sonya versus Mandy. I think it was just... I, I really don't know. I can't, I can't, I don't know what WWE's up to these days, man. They be pulling stuff right out their ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't really know what happened there. Like, it really didn't make sense to me. I didn't like the ending of the match. So, I mean, it was an okay match until then. It's, that kind of killed the match for me, to be honest. So, all right, let's move on to the next one here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of the show... Um, so, th okay, so when be when the kickoff show was happening and New Day was about to get go in their match, uh, one of the people backstage walked up to Kofi and said that, that v the McMahon family wanted to talk to him about the title match. So, you know, obviously your boy got hype, and so did Kofi, and so did literally everybody watching the damn show. Come to find out, in the middle of the thing, New Day goes back there to find out what happened, and Kofi's still waiting outside the office. They just go right in. They're talking events, and they're telling him, yeah, Kofi deserves to be in this match and everything, because he does, obviously. And Vince is like, oh, yeah, you know what? Fine, I'll make it a triple threat. And that match happens right now. So Kofi goes out there, dude. And they and Vince screwed him again, dude. Again, like you really out here, dude. Like screw you, Vince. Screwed him again. Just had the bar come out there in a handicap match. They don't even have to tag. They're both in the ring and just squash Kofi Kingston and beat him in the match. And then after the match, the rest of New Day tried to run out there and help him because they were beating him up after the match. And then Rusev and Nakamura attack them from behind. Well, I don't know what the hell was going on. That was just cha chaotic as hell. I can't believe they screwed Kofi again, man. Like, why? 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 Kofi deserves to be the WWE champion, man. Been here for 11 years. Putting in that work, boy. So that kind of... Annoyed the hell out of me, to be honest. 
And then you had uh, Sasha and, and Bailey do an interview or whatever. It is what it is. Um, Shane McMahon interview. But he didn't even say anything, I don't think. He just, like... As soon as they went to ask him why he turned on Miz, he just he, he didn't say anything. He just went back in the locker room. So I mean, I guess it wasn't too much of an interview. <laughs> the Raw Tag Team Championship match: The Revival defeated Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, and uh, Alistair Black and Ricochet, which was actually a really damn good match. Like, dude, I love that match. And at the end, after Revival won, luckily anyway, um, they went to fight after the match, and Aleister Black gave him a black mask for his troubles. <laughs> he gave him a good old black mask, clean as ever. And then Dash Wilder ate a knee from Aleister Black, and then at 630, Senton from Ricochet, and yeah. The Revival better watch out. They better watch out. The boys are coming. The boys are coming. They better watch out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They might not have a lot of experience as a tag team, but Ricochet and Aleister Black are freaking deadly, man. I like that tag team. They're badass. Because, I mean... In 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 all fairness, I could be a little bit biased because Alistair Black was like my favorite dude in NXT. So him coming up main roster is already awesome to me. But adding adding Ricochet to it just makes it that much sweeter, man. It was nice. I love their tag team, honestly. And by the way, Ricochet, like, when he flew over that little corner post, you got to give this man props, dude. He turned into damn Superman, bro. He he cleared the freaking post and went straight outside the ring and hit, like, Bobby Roode, I think it was. Like, holy shit, this dude had ups. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get on to the next match. Can't be talking about it forever. I mean, I wish I could, but I can't. United States Championship match. Samoa Joe defeated Rey Mysterio via submission. Well, put him to sleep, really. Um, R-Truth and Andrade. He put Rey to sleep, dude. And again, another really good match. And I'm I'm really glad that like they actually ended up doing this match because this match wasn't even on the card, but they put it um put them in there, and I was happy for it because I didn't want to see Ray and Andrade in the stupid kickoff so show, dude. They deserve so much because every time they're against each other, it's a it's a freaking classic. Like they work so dang well together, it's unbelievable. So, that was a dang good match. R-Truth tried to act like John Cena again. It didn't work out. Selena Vega ended up doing a hurricanrana on R-Truth into the barricade. And then Carmella walked over there and hit her with a super kick. <laughs> That's how you take care of that. That's how you take care of that. <laughs> Mella is money. <laughs> yeah. But dude, like the like these matches, man. The stuff that Ray and Andrade was pulling off in that match was unbelievable. These dudes were flying freaking everywhere. <laughs> and Ray with them damn double hurricanas. Like, man, he jumped down and hurricanaed like two people like twice, dude. Ray was hitting some big spots in that match, honestly. I loved it. I loved it. McLovin. No. Had a, all right. Women's Tag Team Championship match. Boston Hug Connection defeated Nia Jackson Tamina. I'm going to be straight up and honest right now. 
And I think I've even told y'all this before. I don't like Tamina. She's not very good at wrestling, to be honest. She's not very good at promos. I don't like Nia Jax. She hurts literally everybody. And they just ain't that great to me. So seeing them lose was pretty great. And I was hoping to God they lost. I predicted for Bailey and Sasha, and I was correct, though. I mean, in all fairness, it was an okay match. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, I guess. But it is what it is. It was, it was, it was good, but it wasn't. Like, honestly, to me, it, you gotta give props to Sasha and Bailey to even make a match good with them two. Like, like, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Anyway, let's move on to um, the next one, which was the WWE Championship match. Daniel Bryan defeated Mustafa Ali and Kevin Owens to retain the title. Again, why was Mustafa Ali in the match? Why, why, why was he in the match? He, I mean, he didn't. It's fine to me. I mean, it made the match even better. It was a really good match. But like, why? Do we, he was just in the match to take the pin. That's that's it. I mean, I don't understand why they changed it from Kevin and Daniel to them three. But it is what it is. Would have rather have Kofi in there, but. Uh. My boy Kofi is going to get the title at Kofi Mania, brother. Because that's how it goes. I'm just saying. <clears throat> um, But uh, all in all, it was a dang good match. And the ending, dude, when Daniel Bryan took this man, Mustafa Ali, out of midair with the knee, dude, and won the match off that, that was lit like the pe the matches that were really good on fast lane were really good and then you had the matches that weren't that great and they just weren't that great like i don't know it's hard to explain but i gotta be honest with y'all i think fast lane was all right it was pretty good it was pretty good WWE is doing a lot better since the start of this year, so hopefully they can keep up with their storylines. But who knows? <laughs> anyway, um. Oh, and by the way, let me just say something real quick. Kevin Owens being a face is lit, by the way. Him hitting them freaking Stone Cold Stunners. <laughs> <laughs> them freaking Stone Cold Stunners are lit. Like, let's be honest. All right, yeah, three more. Can't wait, man. My my buddy right here is getting his first event card, I think. If it ain't his first, he's getting Batista. I know that. I think that's his first, though. I could I could have sworn he said it's his first. Anyway, back to what we were going with. Becky Lynch defeats Charlotte Flair via disqualification. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I really did want that app. I like I wanted her to win. Don't get me wrong, because I wanted Becky Lynch in WrestleMania. I want her to be in the main event. I don't even understand why Charlotte's in the triple threat. I think it should just be Becky versus Ronda. But that's besides the point. I want her in the match. I just didn't like the ending too much. I didn't like that Ronda ran out there and punched her in the face. And, oh, yeah. And then Ronda just left. Like, oh, yeah, all I had to do was punch her. And she's in the match. Like, I get she wanted to fight Becky. And that's, like, a reason why and all that. But, I mean, it, it could have been a better finish than that, though. It was it was started off pretty good match. And it was back and forth. Becky's on one leg trying to survive and everything. And then Charlotte puts her in the figure four. And then uh, Ronda runs out there and punches her in the face. 
You could think that the reason why she punched her in the face was where, because she could get what she wants. Becky's in the match. And she could have tapped out to that because her leg screwed up, right? But at the same time, I feel like they could have thought of a better ending than that. That's just that's just me. That's just me, I guess. Anyway, down to the match that I loved. The, my favorite match of the night. The Shield. Versus Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. Let's, dude, it was like classic Shield. They were fighting in the crowd. Seth Rollins was jumping off of <laughs> crazy crap out in the in the crowd. Like he was on top of the what you call it, dude, and he jumped off and saved Dean from Drew and Bobby. Well, you just got Roman and Baron in the ring. Fighting each other one on one, pretty much. Dean Ambrose set taking care of Bobby and Drew in the crowd. Then you got they come back and they're wild up. Uh, Drew, Bobby, and Baron try to do try to act like the Shield and do a triple power bomb on Roman Reigns, but Dean and Seth saved it. Baron Corbin ended up hitting it. Uh, end of days on Roman Reigns and dude, Dean and Seth barely saved that pin. Like I thought, I, I thought it might have been over, honestly. But then, um, the Shield surrounded the ring when it was just Baron Corbin. Got in there, beat him up. Uh, they did put. Drew McIntyre threw the announce table with the tripper power bomb. They also triple teamed them, like just beat them up like they used to. Classic Shield, dude. I loved it. Like, I don't know how to explain it more than that. Like, I loved seeing Classic Shield tactics, dude. And then when they had Baron Corbin by their by himself in the ring, they surrounded the ring like the Shield always does. Got in the ring, triple teamed them. And Seth was so into this, dude. He even he even said the F word. He ain't even care, dude. He ain't, he ain't even care. Like, he was like, one last time, Cleveland. One last mother effing time. He didn't even care, bro. And then they hit the triple power bond on Corbin and won the match. Like, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, my favorite match of the night. The best match, I'm telling you right now, I love the Shield. I know they're about to be done, and I get that, but you can't take this away from me. <laughs> you can't take this away from me. That was that was so awesome, and I'm, I'm really going to miss seeing the Shield tag together. You can tell, like, with Seth being that wild up, they enjoyed the hell out of it. Like, they were loving tagging together again. Anyways, guys, that's my thoughts about Fastlane. If you have any favorite things that happened in the pay-per-view, comment down below what you liked. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, because we're on the road to 200 subscribers. We're almost there, baby. Rise together. Hit the notification bell you always know when I'm live or put up a video because there are always too sweet. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. And until next time, until next time, peace out. <laughs>